Happy Independence Jamaica! Happy 62nd! Yay! For all of y'all out there, I'm just wishing you happy, happy independence. And also, want to let you know that we actually have something to celebrate from a track and field perspective on this here day. Yes, Wayne Pinnock went out and said, Jamaica, I know today is our independence. I know today is our 62nd. I have a surprise for you all. And he went out and he won us. Yes, he won us a silver medal in the men's long jump. Thank you, Wayne Pinnock, and congratulations to you on your effort. Winning a silver medal, jumping 8.5. 36 meters absolutely fantastic track is we're excited that we have another medal to celebrate from the olympic games now it hasn't been great going but we have landed on the medal podium three times before so this makes it the fourth time we have three silver medals and one bronze medal now wayne pinnock adds to the silver medals woohoo from the long jump as i said 8.36 meters now we also had previous to this a Silver medal from Kishane Thompson in the men's 100 meters. He, he ran 9.79 seconds. And then we also did have in the women's triple jump from Shanika Rikis. She jumped 14.87 meters for that silver medal. And then guess what? Guess what? Rajinja Campbell. We had a lot of firsts here as well. Let's just say that. A lot of firsts as well, right? All of these athletes, I believe, are first um, for sure, right? Um, when it comes to, you know, doing amazing for jamaica at least in the field events that is right shanika that was a first for us first olympic medal and also rajinja um first olympic medal as well that bronze medal in the shot put 22.15 meters no i'm gonna have to double check if wayne's is a you know first for jamaica in the long jump from an you know olympic perspective but still an amazing performance nonetheless and we're happy now what happened in the men's triple jump well not triple sorry the long jump um it started off you know uh, with us being slightly sad because we also did have Kerry McLeod, you know, competing here for us. And I did believe that Kerry was in the best shape of his life, actually. You know, I counted him as one of the medalists as well going into this competition. But um, unfortunately, Kerry was only able to manage a 7.82 meters jump. Now, I'm not sure what happened, um, why he wasn't able to execute one of his best jumps of the season. Not sure if he had a setback. But track is, this is how competition goes sometimes as well. Sometimes you're unable, you know, to get your best jump for one reason or another. But one thing I know, that Kerry is going to have his moment for sure sure i thought he would be having his moment this year it wasn't his time and that's fine i believe his time is coming though given everything that we've seen from him and i'm just wishing him all the best remain strong you made it to the olympic finals i know things didn't go the way you wanted it to go for sure i can just you know imagine how he's feeling right now given how well he's been doing this season that he wasn't able to at least get in top eight to have a further three jumps because he finished 12th um in the men's um long jump final right so i'm sure he's not you know at all excited about this performance but as i said we have to take the positives out of it and guess what you made it to the olympic finals and guess what your time is coming and i'm sure know that we're gonna see something amazing from you and you're gonna be on the podium one day so i can't wait to see that and celebrate it with you as well but given you know the performance from kerry um we had to look forward to as i said wayne pinnock and he delivered he delivers the silver medal and the man that always seems to be standing in our way Miltadis Tentoglu walks away with the gold again. <laughs> and he jumps. I believe this is the first man in history that retains um, the long jump Olympic title. Right. He jumps at 8.48 meters to go away with the um, title, the gold medal. And then in third place was the youngster, Matai Fer Ferlani. He jumps a 8.34 meters and he was having an excellent series excellent series hitting 8.34 twice right so he was jumping absolutely phenomenal and he's one for the future absolutely but as things stand right now gold goes to Miltadi, Centaglo, silver to win pinnock and we're excited and as well the bronze medal goes to matai Ferlani from italy so that rounds up the men's long jump and our excitement on this hour 60 second now let's move on to the women's 200 meters and i'm gonna kindly slowly put down my jamaican flag you know why i'm putting it down because you know when nobody say all of a sudden me claiming people so i'm gonna put it down i'm gonna i'm gonna throw it over there it's not gonna touch the ground let me know awesome honestly i have a chair right there it's gonna land right on the chair good it's right there on the chair so yes it didn't touch the ground i'm gonna keep it rolling because with that
Two hundred, yeah. On a love tail, we say Jamaica too enough. I mean, you know, it would, oh no, right? So the women's two hundred meters. Wow, what a thrilling race! And prior to the race, I had some thoughts as it relates to how it could potentially go, right? Given what we saw leading into the Olympic Games and what we saw at the Olympic Games, one thing I knew for sure was this race was going to be between Gabby Thomas and also a Julian. Fred. And that's literally how it played out. But it was even more interesting, Trackies, because coming into the Olympic Games, Gabrielle Thomas' start looked poor, beyond poor. I don't even know how to describe it. It was horrible, right? And my thought process was, okay, Gabby, we have to fix that. And guess what? When she turned up in the heat, the semifinal, Gabby's start was starting. And I was like, ooh, wow. Okay, Gabby, you're doing your thing. Julian Alfred also looked quite easy. So this is how I pretty much, you know, worked it out in my brain. Given what I saw from Gabby, she ran with a uh, Dina Ashersmith in the semifinals. And as far as I'm concerned, Dina has a better start than a Julian Alfred, right? And if she was this much up on uh, Dina Ashersmith, then she would provide trouble, as, my, as far as I'm concerned, for a Julian Alfred in the finals. That was literally my thought process, right? So, trackies, given all that, I was like, if Julian Alfred wants to defeat uh, Gabby Thomas, she has to make sure that she gets a healthy enough lead on Gabby Thomas. Well, track is, look here, Gabby came out with a whole other plan. Because guess what? Gabby, come out, come steamroll. Everybody, Dina and all, off the bend. Yeah, Gabby led off the bend, which was quite surprising to me. Given her previous history and her poor starts. I guess it's fair to say right now that Gabby not having a poor start again. I guess it's fair to say that because what we saw was absolutely epic from a Gabby Thomas. I believe she's the best she's ever looked. Forget times and personal best because we all know given the tracks that you run on sometimes, you may run, you know, super fast, but that doesn't mean that's the best of you. And I believe what we saw here was the get best of Gabby. And she literally just moved away from everybody for, a, you know, a sizable win. She literally steamrolled everybody. She ran a 21.83 seconds to go away with that win. Yeah. And guess what? Julian Alfred came in for a second and she ran at 22.08 seconds what i would say about a julian alfred was given what i saw and the fact that you know gabby took her out on the bend she looked tired she looked tired those three rounds in the 100 meters and a further three round in the 200 meters looked like it took its toll on her i mean after all she ran a national record you know in the 100 meters to win that gold so y'all know she was killing track she was burning track from them time day you know what i mean and coming into the 200 meter final seems as though it was one race too much for her though i have to say it was good enough for silver it was good enough for silver so maybe not one race too much maybe in comparison to gabby you know what i mean since she didn't do the 100 but when it comes to julian alfred you know i I believe she was not at you know i would say her freshest let's put it that way wasn't you know on fresh legs so gabby really took advantage of that in my opinion and you know steamrolled the competition and walked away with a sizable um win as far as i'm concerned and then of course as i said um alfred was in second with a 22.08 running out the field now in bronze was a second timer in bronze, actually, Brittany Brown. Yes, yeah, she runs at 22.20 seconds um, for that um, third place um, spot. Now, Dina was in it um, at one particular point in time. Actually, Dina, as well as, you know, um, Brown and also Alfred, they all seem to be, you know, struggling it out for those last two medals since Gabby, as I said, steamrolled everybody and left everybody in the dust, right? But Jewel and Alfred proved the better of the athletes because she dug deeper um, in the last phase of the race and really you know separated herself from the field and collected that um silver medal while dina faded back um in the women's 200 meters and again as i said Brittany brown walked away with the um bronze medal so track is um it was an awesome race for me personally i absolutely loved it um we have no bones in this fight, so I don't want nobody to come in the comment section and tell me, oh, da, 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 da. congratulations to all the athletes. Congratulations to Julian Alfred, her first Olympic Games, and she literally goes away with a national record and a gold in the 100 meters and also a silver in the 200 meters. I believe she's still in the shape to run a national record as well in the 200 meters. Given fresher legs, I'm hoping that we see her on the circuit, and I'd love to see this rivalry again and this matchup again between herself and Gabby Thomas and see if they'll be able to trade wins. I, w I would love to see that on the circuit after the Olympic Games. But yeah, as I said, um, it was great running from her. And kudos to Gabby. Gabby did this. I think this is the best Gabby has ever looked in her life. Now, of course, you know, her personal base is not, you know, anything like this. But as I said, 
on my live, which I will say here, I compared it to Elaine Thompson here running 21.6 in 2015 versus her 21.7 in 2016. Clearly a better Elaine Thompson here in 2016. And she was slower, you would say, based on times um, in the 200 meters. But I can tell you, what we saw in 2016 from Elaine was the best of her in those two years, right? And I will say, given what we've seen from a Gabby in all these years since she's gone pro, this is the best of her. I love the fact that she's worked on her start. And it seems as though going forward, we can't say Gabby has a poor start because she killed it from heat, semi, and also final on that curve. She was with the fastest of the starters of the curve. And guess what? She transitioned beautifully and, you know, led that race and walked away with a goal. So kudos to her. And, you know, it seemed to be a trend at this particular Olympic Games, which this is where the bitter side of me probably comes out, that America seemed to be walking away with two medals in most of the events. It's either gold and silver, <laughs> gold and bronze, silver and bronze. And I'm just looking there and I'm like, ah, Jamaica, we'll have a return. We'll have a return eventually. But anyway, Jackies, let me know your thoughts in your comment section below, in my comment section below, child. Let me know your thoughts. So what did you think about Wayne Pinot giving us a happy 60 second with a silver medal in the men's long jump? doing big he walks away with a silver in 2023 and he comes again for a silver here we're gonna get a gold in we're gonna take down milta this one day you might go go down next year and in the year after and the year after and the year after we are comfy right but what did you think about his performance and also gabby takes down a julian alfred what did you think about the performance as well let me know your thoughts certainly in the comment section below don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel i'll catch you in the next one bye